these results may contain images of child sexual abuse. And then you gave users two choices. Get resources or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? When we th think that there's any chance that the results Okay, you might, might be, be wrong. Let me ask you, how many times was this warning screen displayed? I don't know, but the... But the hey, you you don't know. Why don't you know? I, I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. But, well, but You know what, Mr. Zuckerberg? It's interesting you say you don't know it off the top of your head because I asked it in June of 2023 in an overlight, oversight letter and your company refused to answer. Social media is a very powerful tool, but we're here because every parent I know and I think every parent in America is terrified about the garbage that is directed at our kids. I have two teenagers at home and the phones they have are portals to predators, to viciousness, to bullying, to self-harm. And each of your companies could do a lot more to prevent it. Mr. Zuckerberg, in June of 2023, the Wall Street Journal reported that Instagram's recommendation systems were actively connecting pedophiles to accounts that were advertising the sale of child sexual abuse material. In many cases, those accounts appeared to be run by underage children themselves, often using code words and emojis to advertise illicit material. In other cases, the accounts included indicia that the victim was being sex trafficked. Now, I know that Instagram has a team that works to prevent the abuse and exploitation of children online. But what was particularly concerning about the Wall Street Journal expose was the degree to which Instagram's own algorithm was promoting the discoverability of victims for pedophiles seeking child abuse material. In other words, this material wasn't just living on the dark corners of Instagram. Instagram was helping pedophiles find it by promoting graphic hashtags, including hashtag ped whore and hashtag preteen sex to potential buyers. Instagram also displayed the following warning screen to individuals who were searching for child abuse material. The, these results may contain images of child sexual abuse. And then you gave users two choices. Get resources or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? All right, Senator. Um, the, the, the basic science behind that is that when people are searching for something that is problematic, it's often helpful to, rather than just blocking it, to help direct them towards something that, um, that could be helpful for getting them to get help. In, in what, I also, understand get resources. In what sane universe is there a link for C results anyway? Well, because we might be wrong. We, we try to trigger this, this uh, warning, or we tried to, um, when we th think that there's any chance that the results Okay, you might, might be, be wrong. Let me ask you, how many times was this warning screen displayed? I don't know, but the... But the hey, you don't know. Why don't you know? I, I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. But well, the, You know what, Mr. Zuckerberg? It's interesting you say you don't know it off the top of your head, because I asked it in June of 2023 in an overlight, oversight letter, and your company refused to answer. Will you commit right now to within five days answering this question for this committee? We'll follow up on that. Is that a yes? Not a will follow up. I know how lawyers write statements saying we're not gonna answer. Will you tell us how many times this warning screen was displayed, yes or no? Senator, I'll personally look into it. I'm not sure if we have Okay, so you're refusing to answer that. Let me ask you this. How many times did an Instagram user who got this warning 
that you're seeing images of child sexual abuse, how many times did that user click on see results anyway? I want to see that. Senator, I'm not sure if we stored that, but I'll personally look into this and we'll follow up after. And what follow up did Instagram do when you have a potential pedophile clicking on, I'd like to see child porn. What did you do next when that happened? Senator, I think that an important piece of context here is that any context that we think is child sexual Mr. Zuckerberg, abuse, that's called a question. What did you do next when someone clicked, you may be getting child sexual abuse images and they click, see results anyway. What was your next step? You said you might be wrong. Did anyone examine, was it in fact child sexual abuse material? Did anyone report that user? Did anyone go and try to protect that child? What did you do next? Senator, we take down anything that we think is sexual abuse material on the service, and we do- Did, did anyone verify to... whether it was in fact child sexual abuse material? Senator, I don't know if, if every single search result we're following up on, but- in, Did, did but you report the, board, the people who wanted it? Senator, do you want me to answer your question? Yeah, I want you to answer the question I'm asking. Did you report time to speak the people then? who click see results anyway? Uh, that's probably one of the factors that we use in reporting. And in general, and we've reported more people and done more reports like this to NCMEC, the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children, than any other company in the industry. We proactively go out of our way across our services to do this and have made, I think it's more than 26 million reports, which is more than the whole rest of the industry combined. So Mr. I Zuckerberg, think that the, the, Mr. Zuckerberg, that, that we, your that we company and every social media company needs to do much more to protect children.